Um, we'll move on to the center backs, and I will let you start us off. Sure. So for me, I went with Jack Elliott. Defensive Walker. player of the year, Jack Elliott, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Walker Zimmerman, Rafael Chicos, Teenage Hedebe, and Jesus Murillo. Uh, Jack Elliott and Walker Zimmerman both had 142, and Murillo had 73. So that's the highest and lowest. Um, thought process behind Murillo and Hedebe. I mean, I thought a, a strong season was probably coming in for LAFC. I thought he'd be a consistent guy in the back line for them. But uh, I mean, I had to. I got to search and see. Not I'm even guessing he got hurt. Yeah, Mario got hurt, missed a lot of the season. I know Hadebe. I'm pretty sure it was the same situation. Also got hurt, missed most of the season. So both of those guys ratings wise were pretty solid. I imagine a full season under their belt and there would have been a lot more points, but they missed about half, I would say, give or take. Interesting. Um okay. Well I took actual defensive player of the year. That's where the joke came from. If you guys go check out the TikTok that we made. Uh Connor started off the draft pick saying that he is taking defensive player of the year, Jack Elliott. And Jacob Gosnes won Defensive Player of the Year last year. So uh, I ended up taking him. Um, and then I took Marco Silva. Is it Marco Silva? From Marcelo RSL? Silva? From RSL? Marcelo? Marcelo, yeah. See, that's, that's not great. <laughs> um, that, that tells you how, how good he did for me. Um, Tiago Andrade, uh, Dave Romney, and then the one that killed me the most, uh, Nathan. So let's go into this a little bit. Defensive player of the year, uh, Jacob Gleznis, 144, two points over Jack Elliott. Um, cool. My stats told me that uh, Marcelo Silva was going to have a heck of a year because he was fantastic in 2022. He played 16 times and scored 81, uh, no, 54 points. Not great. He did miss a bunch of games to little injuries here and there. So a total of 10 games missed over the year. Uh, but when you're missing, you know, five days here, four days here, three days here, it all adds up and eventually you can't get yourself back into uh, fitness and form. So then you lose your spot. Andrade was my highest score with 203. You can never go wrong with a guy who's pretty much in the running for Defensive player of the year every year. And then Dave Romney was another good one for me. Uh, I knew he was going to do well. He's a he's a 34 game a year guy and um, thought he did really well for New England this year. He was in our uh, MLS third team, I think. At least he was in mine. Uh, and then the one that hurt me, Nathan, picking up an injury uh, right before the season started, picking me up zero points total. Uh, he was due for a great year. I think we both agreed on that uh and in this you went first then i went first then you went first <clears throat> so you uh, you actually skipped out on it which i thought was interesting because you were high on uh san jose the whole year so I'm surprised you didn't go with him however i think he was going to have a really good year averages for this section 113.8 for me and 115 for you uh, so that brings my total average to 115, your total average to 121. So I'm closing the gap. And then the next section is where I really, really take a good jump forward. Left back was my area of expertise, unless you have anything you want to add on the center backs. I was going to say that I think Nathan could have had the season that Rodriguez had for San Jose this year. Exactly what I was thinking. Exactly what I was thinking. That it was, and the two of them together, is likely going to be really good if he comes back to full health next year. 